everyone welcome to my youtube channel welcome to my space welcome to my reviving corner i am onela sukabalana if this is your first time you're coming to my channel welcome honey i don't take it for granted that you are here in fact i know that because you're already here i know that you're gonna subscribe i know that you're gonna comment i know that you're gonna like i know that you're gonna be part of this family part of this family that's growing and i don't take it for granted that you are here thank you thank you so much so today's video is quite a different video as you can see that the bump is growing and it's going a bit down now because i am close to giving birth and i think i am just left with to be quite honest with you i'm left with a few days to give birth i've procrastinated to do this video i don't know why um i really don't know why however we are here today and um i forced matters because i knew that i'm left with a few days and i was like i'm gonna do this video it doesn't matter if after doing this video i go into labor it really doesn't matter but what is, is important is that i do this video because you guys have been there with me throughout this journey you guys have been praying for me you guys have been checking up on me if i am okay if i'm not on the spaces you guys check up on me you've been praying for me you've been giving me um all the love and the, and the support one could ever ask for you've been showering me with gifts you've been checking oh you guys have been doing so much and i'm so grateful for that and also uh i'm doing this video because i know that there are mamas whom i have been journeying with in this journey personally who are also con um expecting their mamas who have been in this journey before who would love to throw in some pearls of wisdom and advise me here and there uh, on these last days of the pregnancy and also I know that there are mamas who are gonna be mamas very soon why am I saying this I know that there are women here that we are gonna pray and declare husbands for them women we are gonna who are married already and we are gonna pray and declare children for them and they're gonna use this video in the future to reference when they are few weeks before giving birth or few days before giving birth they're gonna come and reference with this video and check what is it that they need to pack for their hospital bag because this is basically what this whole video is all about so we are packing the hospital bag today we are packing my baby's bag we're packing my bag but let me put in a disclaimer guys please this is a very safe space so please don't judge me because <laughs> all of my items they still got tags on like they still got tags on and uh, i think it's the baby items that that have tags on why um every time my husband and i went for a scan i was hoping it would be a boy i'm expecting a girl again you know again more drama in this house you know more people taking my husband you know ish these girls but it doesn't matter so uh my items my baby items they've still got tags on and to be quite honest with you i didn't pack my hospital bag up until today so guys i am packing this bag together with you i'm gonna be removing the tags right in front of you and some later on and i'm doing it with you i don't want you guys to miss out on this so that's why i decided that let me rather do it like that and also these are my baby items quite few that i'm taking to hospital i've got a reason why and my items are over here on the bed and then i'm gonna put them in one suitcase so that when my husband has to bring them to hospital he just carries the whole suitcase there's my baby's bag over here so i'm gonna put my baby's bag in my baby's clothes in here and then mine will be in the suitcase then put them together in the suitcase and then now he's just gonna bring the whole suitcase because i don't want the poor guy to panic like every time the, the the false labor comes he would panic this other time i tricked him and i was like i'm in labor he panicked and panicked he gave me a panado and he's like take this you're gonna feel much better after <laughs> and I, I couldn't i couldn't hold myself i looked at him and i was like so panado helps when you are in labor you know i was just testing the orders to see how he would react when labor like the real labor comes through you know and i realized that he's really panicking so i'm really trying to minimize all the things that uh, i want from him and i don't want to put on so much pressure on him and put so much um uh, responsibilities on him i do have a um an option of asking my mother to come and bring me the stuff and 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 because remember guys 
the distance from my home and the hospital is li like literally 10 minutes and my house is far to the hospital but i want to give my husband the full experience i want him to be there i want him to see what it's like to bring a life on earth i want him to see the preparations i don't want him to miss out on anything i want him to be there i want him to know what it's like to to, to have to bring a whole suitcase or hospital bag and uh to be trusted to bring a baby romper or to be trusted to bring bring nappy uh, or whatsoever so i don't want to deprive him that so that's why i rather pack everything and um make sure everything is there maybe if i miss out on something you guys can drop it on the comment section because i have not done this in seven years my baby came in seven this year so it's been seven years since i have done this and when i did it the first time my mother was like they you know she was the the champ in all of this so she was there she did most of the things and now that i'm doing it again by myself um i'm also doing it like this deliberately i don't want her to be so hands-on because i want to also learn from this experience so that when i give birth in the future at least now um my eyes are more opened and i'm more aware of things and how to do them this time around and uh yeah so and then that also i can be able to to help my girls one day my two girls one day when they give birth if i'll be having two girls maybe the next time i'll have more girls i don't know you can only trust God, you know. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So what am I packing in my hospital bag? I'll let you know where I got my items from. I'll let you know what I'm putting in my bag. And um, I'll also let you know of our favorite item, Kim and I, our favorite item and why we are choosing this item but i'm not taking this item to hospital because uh it's quite big in size because we don't want her to wear it now who is this her on my previous video if you have not watched it quickly go and watch my previous video of my baby shower and check out my baby who is she what is her name i'm not gonna mention her name again here so you've gotta watch that video i'll just drop the link to it up here so that you just click the link and you go watch my baby shower it's not quite a long video it was a surprise baby shower so i tried getting snippets from the people who were you know because they know how much i love capturing moments so they tried getting moments for me here and there but trust me you're gonna enjoy it uh you're gonna have fun and it's quite a nice and intimate setup that is very close to my heart so what am i packing it's my baby clothes when she has been born i would rather have them brought when she has been delivered uh, rather than me taking them to hospital uh when i'm going to hospital so what am i saying when i'm in labor i'm just gonna go as myself there with my gown on and my my night dress and my slippers they do the whole procedure on me and then I deliver I bring my baby girl on earth and then on my husband's first visit then he's gonna bring this hospital bag big why am I doing this this is how I did it the last time with Kim and uh, because I'm using our public hospital and I rather prefer things to be like that to avoid also having to stress about looking after my items and looking after my baby and looking after myself because you know Ibanezi, you know that happens there you know Ibanezi, it's so easy for you to lose things and i remember the last time i didn't even take my phone with and my phone only came when my mom came so this time around i'm even thinking of just getting a small bag just a bag that's going to be over here just to put in my phone my power bank just to communicate with my husband but hey this girl she's here now you know just to do that but i don't want to carry a lot of things so i'm just gonna pack the bag i'm packing two different items or two different outfits depending on the weather for the day when we are being discharged i'm giving birth naturally uh the doctor has confirmed it however if things go other way if god decides to do things differently i'm open to that my prayer is that i give birth naturally and there be no complications and i give birth like a hebrew woman like when i get into the labor room boom i do one push like ooh, and the baby comes you know but it all depends on god we tina we can wish and wish and wish but the final word and the final 
thing is dependent on God. So yeah, so I'm not bringing so many items so that I don't have to look after so many things. Um, so I'm going to hospital wearing my gown, wearing my slippers, wearing my, let me just show you that, wearing my night dress. Uh, I got this night dress from A Cummins. I'm wearing this because you know how it can be when you've gone to give birth. Uh, they come in a set of two. So I'm taking this to hospital. It's quite short. Why? Because you know, down there, when they want to do their business down there, you don't want them to struggle. I don't want to take, I don't want to wear pajamas. So when I'm in labor, I quickly get my uh, shower or take a bath and then put this on and then when my husband takes me i have to make sure i'm wearing this so that when they want to do their business down there there's liberty you know there are no complications and then i'm putting oh i'm taking my gown on i don't know why i took this color i really don't know because you know the business down uh the business over there it can bring in some color you know some red color can be all over the place sometimes you know but either way i'm taking this gown i got this gown from woolworths i'm taking this gown with me so when i'm in labor i will be wearing this gown and then i am taking these slippers because i tend to get very cold and i know when i'm very cold uh, I, I get shaky and not much can be done because I panic a lot. So if I have to be put in uh, a LED or whatsoever, I panic. So I rather choose to take these slippers. I got these from Woolies as well. That is how I'll be dressed in when I'm going into labor. And then the rest of the items, my husband will bring them when they are discharging me. I'll also show you what I would prefer to wear when I'm being discharged. So what am I packing inside my baby's bag? This is my baby's bag. I got this bag from Woolies as well. Like I said to you, the tags are still on. <laughs> so I think it's high time for me to take it off. Take it off. I'm taking the tag on. Off. Um, what am I packing inside this baby's cute bag? I kept the tags on because I was really hoping that this child would keep on changing, you know, the gender from girl to boy. But, you know, it seems like my husband must stay with girls for some time, you know. So what am I packing? First of all, I am packing this cute uh, warm romper. This romper is from Woolies as well. It's still got tags on and I'm taking these off. I hope I take them off right so that um then I'm angle says tags on but I'm gonna double check again. Oh I didn't take this on. Ah yeah, we got that right. So I'm taking this warm one because I am giving birth in winter. For the first time I'm panicking. Yo, I don't know how I'm gonna do a a winter baby because it is said that winter babies, they always get cold. So I'm panicking. So I'm taking this warm romper from Woolies. I'm putting it in my bag as we speak. I'm going to fix the bag, of course, after. And then underneath that romper, I've got these long sleeve vests. I got these from A Commence. I'm taking two of these. They come in a pack of four, but I'm rather taking two. Then if we need more, then I'll ask my husband to pick up my mom and then bring my mom here at home. Then my mom can take the rest of the stuff because I don't want my child to wear wrong items or get cold because of daddy. So I got these two. I'm taking color, uh, the colored ones to hospital because I want my baby to come and uh, and put on her first items that i've got color i like color you know pink and yeah i like pink on a girl pink and i've got this obsession now with purple or lilac so yeah so i'm taking these two long sleeve vests i'm not taking short sleeves at all because my baby is a winter baby so we're putting these in the bag as well and also, I am taking these sockies. I'm in love with these sockies. You know, I'm so in love with these sockies. I got these from Woolies as well. They come in a pack of four. And I like the fact that they've got this underneath. You know, you, ne you never know. Maybe I'm carrying a miracle baby. Maybe this baby right after she's born, she's going to start walking and walking. So I don't want it to be dirty. So I got these socks with these underneath so that when she walks, 
and walks and walks and walks to mommy she will not get dirty <laughs> um so yeah i'm taking two of these to hospital because we've got a white romper in there and another romper that's this color we'll take only this set and then we leave these at home so i'm packing these as well and these i'm leaving here at home and i decided to do the packing right next to her bed i'll show you guys i've already um set up her bed we've done it like weeks ago because we are so excited for this little girl to come for this little girl to come for yz to come we are so excited so i packed we we did her bed long ago so i'm going to show you the bed when we are doing the prayer because i want us also to end this video with the prayer so that um we pray that everything goes well we pray yeah we'll talk about the prayer when we're, do, we're about to do it and i'm also packing these little cute numbers these i got these from baby boom they're quite soft i bought um wash towels from Woolworths I realized that they were quite big and they were not quite soft and you know on the on the first days in case they want to bath her I don't want them to bath her with something that's not quite soft I know sometimes they don't bath them because they've when the baby is born they've got this white thing that is said to protect their skin so in case they need to bath her or not I've already got these um in, and I've got these ready so that they can choose which color they would love to bath her with But if they don't bath her, that is absolutely fine. We'll bath her when we get home That's cool with us. So I got them just in case We've got these as well. I'm putting them in the bag. Mummies, please if I miss something if I forget something Drop it in the comment section, please so that Ngafiki payana and pot like a bit to nan. Dingafiki payana and decrease influenza Devote and it and as a mdana masha tele hinto niko na mama never so please make sure that you let me know if i'm leaving something out so oh it seems like big sis put more than two vests next to me we're leaving these at home they come together with those two as well kim we are leaving these at home we're not taking these here are more colors so we are not taking these in Danam. And then, um, so that was the first items that we are taking, the first outfit. If the weather is not very cold on that day, because also, ooh, I'm forgetting something. Forgetting something, yes. If it's not that cold on that day, we are also going to change the outfit because I don't want to dress up Umdanam in a very warm romper and wrap her around with um uh blankets that are very warm the reason why i'm saying oh we are forgetting something i forgot to take out the blankets and the 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 swaddle that i'm going to use we call it sometimes a receiving blanket so i forgot to take those out i was of course gonna move cooper because they're quite high i'll take them out don't worry so i forgot to take those out i'm gonna take them out so if it's not really quite cold then we're gonna alternate for this outfit and then wrap her around because the blankets are quite warm so that's why i don't want her to be exposed to so much heat because you know so much heat sometimes can cause a rash so i don't want that so if it's very uh hot on that day then she's gonna definitely come out with this number i liked this one because it comes together with this and this i'm also thinking of something else as well i forgot to put in the bibs <laughs> So there's also this item, this outfit that she might come out with as well. It's a Benny from Woolies as well. We're taking this off. And this romper as well. I love this romper because after she's worn her long sleeve um, vest, she's going to put on the socks and then put on the Benny and then put on the romper here. I'll just check the romper. I think the romper, I've already packed it in her drawer. You don't need to hide it, Dana. You can take off you can take out the romper the the the, the bibs from this drawer i think they're over here no. if not i'll just look for them in the wardrobe so there's also oh, this they're not there no these ones these ones are quite cute and uh they're stylish but they won't suffix 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 i don't know how to pronounce that word but they won't be good enough for this situation when you're coming out of hospital so i need to take is, is it different so i'm just gonna take this off and then put it in a bag as well 
so we've got this Benny that we are taking to hospital and then we've got this number that we are going to go and take to hospital so you might have noticed that um, the romper that we are we taking the warm one it doesn't have a Benny on so so we are gonna use a different Benny, but it's quite warm as well. So, uh, so this one goes together with that one. So we might use, we are going to use this Benny, of course. I got this from Woolworth, from Ackermans. We are going to use this if we end up using that white romper. And this Benny is a special Benny because it goes together with the special outfit that we spoke about. This special outfit we got from H&M. Look at this. Look at this. She's probably going to wear this on her second month, going to her third month because it's for babies who are two to four months. Why the special outfit? Because mommy has also got a purple or a lilac tracksuit. And Big Sis has also got a purple or lilac tracksuit. So we had planned that once she's spent a month here at home, she'll be, of course, familiar with us. And uh, we are going to have a picture. I'm going to post it on my social media. We're going to have a picture where we are just three girls wearing tracksuits and socks and bennies. And we're going to post that picture. So that's why this is a special... Um, outfit that we love Ugh, i'm not taking it to hospital though so because she won't be needing it but I, I wanted to show you guys this outfit that goes together with this and it also has a special vest that i got these vests they came in a pack of two but i think the other one is in the wardrobe also got them from h and m so she'll be wearing it underneath when she's wearing that so we are taking this to hospital we're borrowing it from this outfit in the meantime so that she wears it when she uh goes out of hospital together with the together with the 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 white romper so yes i will show you guys the blankets on my when i'm done with the toiletries This is the basket where I keep her toiletries, but I'm not taking everything from this basket. I'm only taking very few things from this basket. This is her toiletry bag. Her toiletry bag, we got this toiletry bag as a complimentary toiletry bag. When you buy items from Dav, they put them inside this toiletry bag, so you just use that. So what I did is I took out all the, out, the, 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 the products from Dav and we are leaving them here at home. And we are only going to take soap and Vaseline only to hospital. Um, the rest of the stuff we'll use when we are here at home. So this is the toiletry bag. And what comes out of the toiletry bag when you buy it from Dav? It comes with a head-to-toe wash. And then also a lotion. I hope you guys can see that. And it also comes with a shampoo. And then with a beauty bar. So that's what we're taking to hospital. We are taking the beauty bar and the Vaseline. Vaseline, Vaseline. Whichever way you prefer it. That's what we are taking to hospital. And then we are taking the surgical spirit that is from Discam. In case they don't have a surgical spirit from hospital or whatever the case might be, but we're also taking our own. And then I got this from Ackermans, which is a swab set. Inside there is cotton swabs, cotton balls, biodegradable cotton buds. So we are taking this as well so that we deal with that um, umbilical cord situation down there. That's what we are taking to hospital in the toiletry bag. And we're also going to be taking white to hospital so that if they decide not to wash Umdanam, then they can just wipe her with the wipes I don't know how they're gonna do it but we're taking the wipes in case of anything and then we are taking let me just put these back here because I'm gonna pack them in the bag in the toiletry bag and then we are taking just a few nappies these are pampas nappies we are taking just a few i'm not taking the whole packet i'm taking only these three and then if my baby needs more daddy is always on standby grandma is always on standby to bring more so i'm packing these as well in the 
hospital uh, in the toiletry bag. I'm gonna put them here. Oh, pick that up for me. I'm gonna put them here in the meantime. We're gonna put them in here and then put them in her bag. And then I'm gonna show you how uh, the types of blankets I'm gonna be taking to hospital with her. Uh, yeah, blankets that I'll be putting in the bag, not taking to hospital. Blankets that will be in the hospital bag. Uh, I'm taking only one swaddle or one receiving blanket and I'm only taking maybe two more other blankets just in case but ideally I know I'm going to use the swaddle and I'm going to use one blanket but the other one is just for in case. So let me just quickly get up and take those and then quickly show you. So um, I almost forgot this. But I'm really skeptical about taking this to hospital. I don't think I'm going to take it to hospital. This is my baby's uh, bath towel. We got this from Woolies as well. Like I said to you, I don't think they're going to be bathing her. So I don't think I should be taking this to hospital with me to avoid it being lost, you know. And sometimes I feel it's best to take very few items to hospital because really when you're giving birth naturally, it's just... Uh, you give birth and then they keep you overnight or for a few hours, then they discharge you. So you really don't need a lot of items. And because already you are focusing on the baby, you don't want to be losing items. You don't want to be bringing so many items. When you get home, you realize that you don't have this item. Now you have to go to the shops and buy it again. You know, So I'm not taking this to hospital. I am keeping it here at home for my little one because that's where she'll be we're using it the most here at home so yes i got this one from woolworths but i realized also that uh baby boom has also got cute receiving um bath towels so i think a friend of mine got me that i think yeah i think my friend got me that the second one i'll just double check i think yeah auntie young i think she got me that i'll double check it's quite soft as well so please don't dismiss um baby boom uh and these are the swaddles i'll be taking to hospital why are these falling i got these two from woolworths but i'm only taking one to hospital we are taking this one to hospital we're taking this one to hospital so you can put that away we're taking this one to hospital so that they wrap her up in this one and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap her up. So I'm putting that in my bag. And then there's this one. I got, she, my baby got this one from her aunt as well, my cousin. Uh, I want to take this one as well to hospital as a just in case. However, this is the one I'm going to be using. Why? Because this one, okay, let me put this one away. Because this one, I got it from Woolworths as well. This one is quite big than the other one, so I think it should be doing the job. It's quite big, and it's gonna help me in in not in not having to bring in another one. I think let me just take this one to hospital, just this one oh, to hospital because it's, it's nice and big. This one, so we got that from Woolies. Yeah, we're gonna put it in this. Is it? little sissy here and if i can done i'm gonna put it in there so i think that's run about it okay i don't think i'm gonna put it in there because oh we're gonna put the toiletries over here we're gonna put the toiletry bag over here and i think that's my hospital bag i only decided to take one uh blanket and i'm keeping the other one here at home because honestly i need just the swaddle or the receiving blanket and this one to put on top and then that's it so this is my hospital bag for my little baby yz it's ready baby i'm ready for you to pop what am i taking to hospital as a mom you can put these over there calumna namza's packer when we are done what am I taking as a mom to hospital? Remember I said to you, I'm only taking these items just for me when to, to put on when I'm being discharged, you know. Um, after giving birth, uh, like I said to you, I have a two set. I think I need to take the other one from the wardrobe. I have a two set of those night dress. So when I go into hospital, I'll be wearing the night dress, the gown and the slippers. When I'm done with my situation in the morning, I think I'm going to give birth at night. I don't know why. However, after I've given birth, of course, I'm going to take a shower. And then after taking a shower, I'm going to put on the other one, the other 
night dress because why those night dress the reason why i chose them specifically instead of a whole pajama set it's because you are just able to bring them down take out your booby you know breastfeed your child i'm hoping and praying that uh, I will not have problems with breastfeeding because when I was a baby, I gave my mom problems with breast with uh, milk, uh, a breast milk to a point where I stopped on my own at three months. Even with my Kim, when I gave birth to Kim, after I gave birth to her, she didn't want the breast the first few hours and it really made me panic. And also I was not producing much, but after a few hours, boom, I was a milk factory i started producing to a point where when i was producing in one breast it would just pop out on the other one so i had to put in something so that it does not go to waste you know so i'm hoping the same will happen with this one that she will not uh, give me problems but rather she will enjoy the milk right away so i'll be putting on the night dress after i've given birth as well and then if it gets cold then i am take i'm going to put on pajamas so if it gets cold i will definitely give my husband a call uh because sometimes they don't really give you a heads up as to when they are discharging you so if it gets cold i'll give my husband a call to just bring in this pajama set in fact i think my husband must just keep this suitcase in the car in the boot so that if i say baby he's like i'm coming with it you know so i got this pajama set from Woolworths as well if it's really cold then my husband is gonna bring this for me and then i'm not gonna wear that other night dress i'm gonna wear this instead and some socks so that if i have to breastfeed my baby i just pull it up i really don't mind as long as i'm not gonna be cold so yes i'm taking that pajama i don't know what happened but yeah i'm taking that pajama just in case so when they decide now um okay then what am i taking in my toiletry bag because i'm also taking a toiletry bag let me put in this disclaimer because it's something i notice um a lot um once you watch someone you love uh someone you follow on these youtube streets or instagram or whatsoever tiktok and then they they show you what they're using and uh for in my case if i'm saying i'm putting this in my toiletry bag it doesn't necessarily mean now we, you have to find the very uh same items i'm taking these specific items because it's items that are working for me now during the pregnancy it's items that i find very handy for me during the pregnancy and also like i've been emphasizing that i'm taking as few items as i can so in my toiletry bag i'm not taking a lot honestly i'm not taking a lot in my toiletry bag the only thing i forgot to pack was just my bath towel that's all like a towel your vasa i'm not taking a lot so i don't want you when you're watching this video you feel that you need to get the specific items that i'll be using no i've been having problems with certain products that i've been using before that i've had to take a break from during the pregnancy and then after the pregnancy of course maybe i'll go back so what's in my toiletry bag i'm not even taking a fancy one i'm taking my husband's toiletry bag so that if it gets lost his gets lost <laughs> so what's in my toiletry bag I, i'm taking this one because it's quite small mine is very big so i'm taking his rather and he's got quite a number of toiletry bags don't ask me why what am i taking in my toiletry bag i've got my lotion i'm a nivea girl so I've got my lotion uh, in my bag. I can't live without toning my skin. So I'm definitely toning my skin. And I've got some cotton. Don't, don't need to tone my skin. In there, I've got... I've been using men um, deodorant because the women's one has not been working out for me. So I've been using that, my husband's one. Uh, but he has another one, so I'm taking that one to hospital with me toothbrush and uh, toothpaste to wash my teeth after and my number one cannot live without this if i'm going into labor my lips must be moist if i'm in pain my lips must be moist no back when i can do in my life my lips must be moist you know so i'm definitely taking this I, i'm a big fan of this when i wake up in the morning after brushing my teeth i put on this that when i go to bed i put on my my lip balm you can take even those small 
pocket vaselines just to keep your lips moist you know sometimes when you are sick in hospital I always say if I am sick if something happens to me if I'm in pain if I'm crying if I'm whatever happens to me like let it happen to me with my lips moist and my face moisturized you know let me not be dry let me not go through a dry season and a dry situation and still be dry even on the outside at least let me look presentable you know so I'm also taking that and I'm also taking some perfume you know but I'm not gonna put much of the perfume in here, just over here and over here. Just in here, this child to know that I'm a mom who smells great, you know. She must know that. She must know that I'm a mom who smells great. Like, I don't smell like water. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I just want to smell great, you know. Uh, I always have confidence when I pass by someone and I know that I smell great. I've got some scent on me, you know. But really, that is not necessary. You don't have to put on perfume and also for me putting on perfume is a big issue right now because for months my first and second trimester i could not put on perfume at all so that's why now you find that putting on perfume is a biggie for me i was not putting on perfume at all for for like six months so it's only now that they are wearing like perfume that's why i'm putting it on and then um i prefer to be discharged wearing a tracksuit and just slip ons i'm putting these on i'll be wearing this on when they're discharging me i hope my feet won't be swollen but should that fail i will put on my slippers as well as you can see i've been trying to wear these during my pregnancy got these from sheen i've been trying to wear them during my pregnancy but ish uh, like my 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 don't what do you call this my feet have been so swollen so much that they would peep out and be so big at the back you know so i haven't been really able to flaunt them nicely so i want to flaunt them when i am being discharged and i'm putting on this number as well it's a trick suit i got from shein the one i was telling you about the purple one yes mama will be putting on hers for the first time uh so yeah i got this from shein and i was like no i'm get coming out of hospital with this one so it's that and it's quite warm you know it's really quite warm and trust me it doesn't matter even if it's hot or it's cold i would rather be discharged wearing a trek suit and socks if it's cold if it's not cold a trek suit with those slip-ons from shein and then yeah guys that's it to my baby bag packing my baby's bag and there's something i forgot to show you i am going to be using three different types of maternity pads uh i don't know which one's gonna work best i only know of one brand but i also want to try two other brands uh, i know of this brand of when my aunt was pregnant in 2009 and then i also used it on kim after i gave birth to kim but i can't really remember how my experience was so that's why i took one packet and then took two other packets from different brands as well i got dr white's maternity pads and then i got these ones as well uh, uh, softy maternity pads uh I think I trust them for some reason <laughs> and I got these ones from Lilith's so I'm also showing you in case you don't love the other brand I'm also showing you other brands that you can try out as well uh, during your pregnancy uh, during after during your what do you call that process I forgot but after you've given birth you know what's that thing tends to come out a lot after you've given birth so you might need to have as many packets as possible so that you don't run out of them and you have to be sending people to go to the shops to get them for you but i hope guys i have put in everything there uh in my bag if i've missed something please do drop it on the comment section here down below and uh, if you have got any questions drop them on the comment section but please do remember i'm not an expert in this i will answer the best way i can and based on my experience i'm only gonna have my second baby now i'm gonna be a mom of two now so i will answer the best way i can and yeah so thank you so much for watching this video but before we end this video, I don't want us to end this video without doing the support. I want us to pray. The reason why I want us to pray, I want you as well, if you are expecting a little one, if you are watching this video and you are expecting or you know of someone who is expecting or 
whatever the case might be. I love being intentional. I love um, being um, ready in advance. I love preparing myself in advance, you know, for whatever situation that might come. Kim, please, please bring me that all you were asking me about now. Just now it's over here. I like being, um, I like, go that side. I like being intentional. I like being ready, you know. Um, I want to pray for my little baby before she comes. Um, like I've been saying to you that I'm due and I'm doing this prayer online because I want you also, before you give birth, I want you to speak life upon your child. And also, remember that when we give birth, we are not the first people to channel the baby. Like, So, you want to speak life and the hands that will be touching your baby the first time, the first people to receive your child, you want to pray over that. You want to pray over your child. Yes, you have been praying. I have been praying throughout my pregnancy, but I am more intentional now because the days are closer. So, I have my anointing oil with me and I'm just going to take a little bit of it. It's brand new. I bought this one specifically for this period so i'm gonna open it i hope i don't open it too much yes i didn't and i'm just gonna take a little bit of it and anoint my tummy and as i'm anointing my tummy also at home if you have your anointing oil just take some and you pray over your baby you speak life over your, your tummy so this is my little one i speak life upon her in the name of jesus i pray that for the first time I anoint them in the name of Jesus I speak health upon this child I speak a healthy delivery I speak ten fingers I speak ten toes I speak oh God I speak a child that is fully developed in the mighty name of Jesus I speak, oh God, a child that will be born uh, a right. So I speak a child that will cry right after they've been they've come out of my womb in the name of Jesus. I speak Ngosiam, a child that will not have any complications. I come against any complications in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray that I may give birth like a Hebrew woman in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, that this child, oh God, may may be a normal child that this child oh god may be a fully developed child in the name of jesus that this child may not let anything or oh father in the name of jesus that this child may be blessed oh god i speak against sicknesses at night oh god i speak against crying non-stop i speak against unbearable colic oh god in the mighty name of jesus i pray that when it's time for her to sit she may be able to sit when it's time for her to be teething oh god when when it's time for her to start walking when it's time for her to start speaking when it's time for her oh god to start teething i pray that every process oh god every stage and every development that it may take place in the mighty name of jesus i pray your father libro kushande ya labasata ya dayade liba kashinde lebe bebe bebe sanda anoint and protect this child oh god yega malik ayesu wase nazareth mtu ne panskwe sanda sako kosiyam in the name of jesus the nurses that will be helping me to deliver this baby fill them up with your with your anointing fill that theater room with your anointing in the name of jesus the doctors oh father anoint their hands in the mighty name of jesus may i not be in labor for so long may i not have complications when i have to push may i give the right pushes at the right time may i not run out of birth may i not tear too much oh god may I not have pain that is unbearable in the mighty name of Jesus I pray I pray that that theater room may be filled with your Holy Spirit I command your angels oh God to fill that room up oh father I command them in the name of Jesus 
that they may be there when this baby is being brought to earth. When baby YZ comes to earth, oh God, I pray that they may fill up that room, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, have your way, O oh God, upon Wise's life. Have your way upon Yinaya Zuri's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we praise you, O oh God. We give you all praise. We give you all glory. We give you all honor. We thank you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We dedicate this child to you, O oh God. We say, Here is the symbol that we've asked for, and we are dedicating her back to you oh god what happens to her life how she grows up how she lives her life who she becomes it is all dependent on you oh god we bless your name oh father we bless and anoint this baby wisely in the mighty name of jesus we thank you lord